gorillas that fit in aquariums? I think I want one. exactly why we do that the water's already in there why what's with the whole rotation of things but before we do all that stuff before I do all that stuff because I'm not going to show you all that stuff because it would be an hour-long video some of you may like that it's too much editing. it's just too much editing we're gonna show you how the gorilla zombies are doing and show you exactly the things that are in that aquarium right there and they are gorilla zombies and we're gonna show you them welcome First things first, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with the front panel of this aquarium. There seems to be a growth of some sort. Uh, can't can't pin my uh, pin my brain on the exact thought in which what it is. That's not a sentence, but it's it's what is in the comments below. Please let me know what this is. I have no clue. Uh, I'm scared it's gonna kill my fish. And now I could scrape off that algae with the mag float, so I will, so that you guys can see the fish a little bit better. Um, there's Hulk's tank. This is gonna be awkward. Hold on. I don't know about you, but the coolest thing about having a mag float. Is when I got stuck. Is when you initially drop into the aquarium. I'll take my lid off here. You guys can kind of see. Is the initial drop where it's just like kerplunk and then the battle on whether or not you can retrieve it so it's it's a battle so you stick it battle success when I always do something cool like this I'm like somebody invented this and my second thought is why wasn't it me but I'm glad somebody did Done. So now that I've thoroughly uh, annoyed them, sticking the mag float in their aquarium and cleaning the front of the glass, let's show you the gorilla zombies and how the heck they're doing. I'm very excited about how awesome they are, and I'm very excited that you're here. Did I tell you that? I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that you spent time. You're awesome. So if you've been wondering how the gorillas have been doing, they honestly have been doing fantastic. They're growing fast. They're coloring up. But the most awesome part about these two is that I feel as if we've got a legit pair bond. Gorillas, historically, not that they've been around for super long, but they just don't seem to pair bond super well. They seem to have a lot of problems, and I'm very happy that I've got two fish, one male, right there, one female, not visible, but there, that seem to have learned to live together. I divided them for months. They were separated for a few months, pulled the divider out, have not had to put it in, even with two failed spawns. That's that's a big thing. Uh, sometimes when fish spawn and the spawn doesn't succeed, the male can kind of flip out on the female. I've had it happen multiple times, lost beautiful females from it. And it's nice to see them spawn, go through their thing, have it not succeed, and then still have them live together. You can see she does have a couple little scrapes because uh, about a month back, you got a little aggressive with her. But it's subsided, and they live together, and it's very, very awesome, and it's very exciting, and I'm just looking gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. There they are. I know, I know, I know, I know. We're going to get the question, how big are they? How big are they? Well, they're about three feet long, uh, give or take two and a half feet. Uh, best estimation is I probably got her about seven inches, maybe seven and a half. She's just looking beautiful. This guy right here is probably inch, inch and a half bigger. You can see him. His colors are really coming in. He's gorgeous. Starting to grow up a little bit of a hump, a little bit of a hump, nothing too crazy. And a little bit of attitude, a little bit of attitude. I like it. I know I've asked you guys to put some stuff in the comments quite a few times in this video already. But what I want you to do is to start giving us some name ideas for these guys. They're just looking incredible. I think they're going to be a staple in my fish room for a while. So they need names. That's what I do. Fish stay with me for a while. They get names. Make them fun. Make them awesome. Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to kind of sign out because I have a lot of work to do here. 
But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you guys over to some time-lapse footage of those two and their very, very, very first spawn. If you're not subscribed and you enjoyed today's video and you've never seen another video, you wanna see the next one, click the subscribe button. But most importantly, what I want you to do, and we're gonna give you a piece of advice today. I don't know where I was going with that previous sentence. But a piece of advice today is if you're gonna walk on a building, carry a ladder, because you gotta get down somehow. All right, if you're gonna walk on a building, carry a ladder. So you gotta get down somehow. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Introduce time lapse with hand cut.